All right, Coach, uh, you've had some time to take a look at the Cal tape. Uh, what, what, what did you see? Any new thoughts? Uh, just really proud of our defense. Uh, you know, the ability to hold a very powerful Cal offense to under 400 yards and 21 points and to get three uh, critical turnovers in the game, uh, second week in a row uh, with a pick six. Uh, I thought they played incredible. Yeah, take us through your sort of blueprint for success. You talked about it after the game, but you know, this mm -hmm. idea of stopping the run, being mm -hmm. able to run the football and win the turnover margin has obviously worked very well two weeks in a row. Yeah, we've had a, we know that if we're going to make a championship run here that we have to win in the trenches, and it's, it starts with the offensive line and defensive line. And, and the ability to run the ball uh, I thought was critical in that game to limit the possessions that, that Cal have. You know, they, they had wound up having games over 90 plays a game. Uh, so limit their opportunities I thought was critical. Um, you saw some critical fourth down makes, uh, especially the fourth and two. Uh, down on the goal line, and then at the end of the game, just to be able to hand the ball off six times in a row for two first downs in, the, in that game. That's that's championship football, so hope, hopefully we can uh, continue that. How has this defense have been so re revitalized in the last two years? Uh, I think the defensive staff is doing a terrific job, and the kids have really bought into the physicality that we're trying to preach in practice and, and carrying it over to the games. Um, I think both offensive line and defensive line right now are uh, carrying the way. Turnovers are something that's obviously been preached all season. Mm -hmm. You know what's been the key now to being able to execute. Mm -hmm. Plus seven over the last two weeks. That, that's critical for us. Um, and then the, you know Cody protecting the ball. He's had zero turnovers, uh, zero interceptions in the last two weeks. Uh, we haven't put the ball on the ground. Knock on wood. And and uh, just doing a really really good job of of protecting the ball offensively and causing turnovers defensively. It's won us two games in a row. Yeah, you mentioned Cody. Uh, somehow he's fallen a little bit under the radar in the last couple of weeks. You know, yeah. what's, what's he doing out there that you really appreciate? Oh, just the efficiency. You look at his completion percentage over the last two games. He's at 78% uh, over the last two games and securing the ball and just his poise and leadership to, you know, to have some young kids around him that haven't played a lot of ball. His confidence every time he, he walks out there, I think, just rubs off on the other kids and his positive energy that he creates. So uh, he is uh, definitely being a, a great senior captain for us right now. Uh, Health-wise, you know, how'd you come out of that game? Obviously, you had an announcement about Juju mm -hmm. Schuster. Uh, mm -hmm. Any updates on that? Uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're uh, going to have a surgery later this afternoon that uh, will speed up his recovery process. Obviously, everybody heals different. You know, it's has been as soon as three days or it could take it longer. Um, you know, when he's healthy and he feels like uh, he can go back out there, he will. Another different test this week is uh, mm -hmm. Rich Rodriguez brings his you know, Arizona team in. You know, where does his offense uh rank on the sort of spectrum of all these different spreads and all the mm -hmm. different things that are thrown at you week in and week out? Well, different than we saw last week. Last week, you had a spread passing team, and this week is one of the better run games in the country. You know, Coach Rodriguez prides himself on being able to run the ball and does it extremely effectively. He's led our conference. Um, just a very well-coached offense. Uh, he's always done a terrific job. We have a lot of respect, not only for him, but his team. He always does have some wrinkles defensively, too. What do you see from the Wildcats defense? Uh, they're aggressive. That 3-3-5, you don't really see it anymore, you know, and, and it's uh, it's kind of like the triple option game. You, you know, you, you see it about maybe once, maybe twice a year. Um, so um, we've got to prepare for that. It'll take a lot of work this week uh, to give it a great service squad to, to give us a good look and prepare for it. And finally, you know, Arizona may be struggling lately, but this series, recent history, every single game has mm -hmm. been close. You know, what, what's your message to your team this week? Uh, we're in the playoffs right now. Uh, every game for us is a championship game. We can't let up one out. Um, we have to bring the same energy and same preparation to every week. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Thank you.